Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discuss about your project two stage OTA with all sub threshold MOSFETs and optimum GBW to DC current issue. In this paper, presents a operational transconductance amplifier OTA to approach a novelty for an ultra voltage and ultra low power applications. An approach for the design of two stage class AB OTA with sub. 1 microamp current consumptions in power and demonstrate. Okay, the approach employs a MOSFET transistors operating in sub thresholds and allows a maximum gain bandwidth product. Okay, to be achieved for a given DC current budget by setting optimum distributions of DC current in the two amplifier stages while simultaneously providing the common mode range of the input rail to rail the existing method of OTA based architecture was developed at 500 nanometer that means a 0.5 micrometer CMOS technology using 1.6 input voltage okay in the proposed method of this work we are developed a two stage OTA architecture was developed at 45 nanometer using 0.8 input voltage and 65 nanometer you are using 1.2 input voltage CMOS technology. Finally, this work was developed in Tanner EDA tool and compared all the parameters in terms of area, delay and power. Okay. Now we can verify the base paper. So this base paper, they had developed the OTA based architecture. So OTA means operational transconductance amplifier. Here we can check the architecture. So this is the architecture for OTA. Okay. Here figure one shows the two stage folded cascade class a b o t okay so this architecture they are given some input sequence here this is the experiment results will shown that okay as per that we are given the input voltage for the proposed method and this is the output architecture here they are given as a square wave okay and they are calculated the gain from the input voltage to output voltage okay here we are developed this work in tanner eda this is a tanner eda tool this is a two stage test bench architecture okay so this is a proposed one here we are used a 45 nanometer CMOS technology model file and uh, here we are given 0.8 input voltage okay and this is a internal architecture for OTA okay and we can sh run this on T spice okay and uh, we will check with the netlist configuration file also so this is a netlist configuration file okay this is the output waveform for this project two stage OTA okay here you can check the uh, input and output this is a V in N and V in P okay and uh, we will get the output V output okay here V in equal to 400 uh, millivolt okay that means 0 0.4 voltage and we will get the output is 860 uh, point millivolt okay that means 0 0.8 voltage okay and uh, and this is a 65 nanometer uh, design file this also we will execute it okay so here you can check the waveform this is v in n and v in p okay here you can check it's a 0.6 voltage okay input and we will get a 1.3 output voltage okay so the gain will be increased here okay and this comparisons uh, we are updated in the comparisons document and uh, before that okay we can take the comparisons from this t spice okay so here it will given a mosfets and uh, power reports right this reports will update it on comparison document okay so this is a comparison document for 65 nanometer and 45 nanometer cmos technology okay and uh, we have written abstract document for this project here this is one base paper abstract enhancement of this project proposed title proposed abstract existing system disadvantages proposed systems related notes with advantages software requirements literature survey finally references thank you if you need more video related with vlsi projects implementation please like and subscribe this channel